Hello everyone and welcome to another Yorkies Bits and Bobs Home Tech. Today we have another unboxing. Oh no, I don't need my knife. This is a dash cam, like it shows in the picture. Well hopefully it is anyway. It cost me just under £80 and I'm going to put it in my car. It gives you a front and rear camera, so that's what I was looking for. This is the C860 dash cam, that's what it says on the box, and it's from Ape Man. It does up, up to 1520p, uh, but I believe that is if you're just using one camera, but we're going to be using two cameras, so I think it reduces it slightly. I'm not sure. It says, oh, actually it says here, 1520p maximum resolution, 170 degree wide angle, 1080p for the rear, and 3.0 IPS screen. That's what it says. Uh, it, it says G sensor protection, motion detection, Parking monitoring. I have a parking camera anyway that's built into the car, but I just wanted to uh, film what's going on behind me as well as in front of me when I'm driving. So let's see what you get for your money. So nicely presented. We hope you are satisfied with our product and share your experience with your friends Facebook, Twitter, Google, that's what it says, and then it's got a email address. So nicely laid out, looks really nice, isn't it? Come a bit closer and we'll uh, do it properly. Right, let's see what you get for your money. So, uh, looks like a welcome card. Eight man, hello. Uh, dear Mr and Mrs, I would like to thank you. Yeah, we're not going to read all that. Uh, the manual, user manual. Quite a thick one, so probably multilingual. And yes, yeah, got French, Italian, blah, blah, blah. Not going to read well, we'll read that, but I'll read that later. And it's got a share your shopping experience on Amazon, dear customer. So, sort that later. And then you've got main camera, so this is your main camera, that's quite nice. It's made by Sony, it says Super Night Vision, and it says Sony CMOS sensor. Uh, it's got a mounting bracket to mount it onto your bracket, which should be in there, a suction mount. That should be in there, so I'm not going to get that one out, because it's only a suction mount. And then you've got two connections, USB and your rear camera. So USB, rear camera, and there's probably your charger. For that one there, so I'll stick that back in there for now. Uh, rear camera, I'll get this baby out. And this is your rear camera. Got the baby here. So, and it's got a sticker on it, so we're going to try that out later as well. Well, obviously, we're going to plug it all in. So, put that back in there. So, what are you get in there? So, it says car charger and rear camera cable. And whoa, whoa, what's this? Uh, oh, I don't know what that is. I'm not sure what that is. Looks like some sort of lever or something. Yeah, so I'll have to read up, find out what that is, so it could be interesting. And cables and charger and a, an extra sticky pad by looking at it. With a little pin. Don't know what a pin does, but it might be like a reset pin. So yeah, so we'll, we'll have a look at all that later. So uh, with that, what I'm going to do now is uh, go and install it in my car. Right, so I found out what that's for. That's a little crowbar apparently. That's for getting in now and crowing it open so you can put your cables down there. Or vice or down there. We're probably gonna run a cable down there under there. And probably run, run one right back there somewhere for the rear camera. Uh, the other one will go down there. So that would be the first. So the first thing you do is find a position for the camera. So this is the front facing camera. And we will look to see where we put it. So what I thought is, we can put the camera up there, it be behind there, but that should be fine. As long as the camera is on the bit that the uh, wiper's clean, or the lens it's looking at, so it could put it there, or even up there. Yeah, it looks perfect, it'd be out my way. I mean, to, you might think, oh, well, how are you going to adjust it? But you don't need to adjust it. 
can bring it out a little bit just so it can see what's going on. So like that. So it's not taking up no more space. So that's where it's going to go. That is going in there really easy. Don't really need a crowbar, just basically just tuck it in. I can run it down now to the corner. Right, so the next bit is to run this cable. Uh, we're going to have to go along here, uh, here somewhere, all the way back to the rear, which is going to be a, a handful, but I think we, we can do it. Yeah, I think that looks pretty good. Yeah, you know, that's perfect. Camera there. Right, so it's all set up in my car. Uh, took me about half an hour to set it all up, running the cables around. It does say in the book, you should run one cable one way and the other cable the other way. But I put them both in the same direction because I didn't want to go the other side of the car, I couldn't be bothered. But I tucked them all in nice and neatly. The only one that sticks out a little bit is in the rear and the boot because you know you need a bit of lack, sl lack? you need a bit of slack uh, for the cable so it doesn't get tangled up or pulled or anything like that. But that's the only thing you know doesn't bother me. It's not causing no obstructions or nothing. Yeah, really easy to set up. The little crowbar that come with it, I thought was a good little tool for tucking the cables down. I had quite a bit of excess cable for the uh, rear camera. So, but I managed to tuck that down out of the way, and I mean there was a lot of cable left over, and just the right amount of cable for the charging part of it, which goes into your cigarette lighter, which is the other thing to add on the cigarette lighter charger, when you plug it in, it actually got a spare USB connection, so you could plug your phone in there as well and charge up your phone, which I thought that was uh, a good bit of thinking behind that. Uh, the camera itself, the setting up was really easy, it's got a clock on it and a date on it, you can set that up, I found that easy, navigation was a breeze, 
it's got uh, quite a few features on there that I didn't really look into and I'll quickly read them out to you it says here one of them I quite like parking monitoring when the car is parked you can turn the parking guard and motion detection on if a collision or moving object is is detected the dash cam will start recording automatically that will do it automatically it doesn't have to be plugged into your cigarette lighter it will just come on by itself because it's got a battery in there it will come on recall what's going on in front and behind it behind it which i thought was really good i quite like that idea i haven't got it turned on at the moment but i've got most of the other features turned on so yeah very good got the clock showing up on the screen so when it's recording you know, you can see what's going on and I've done a little video just to show you what it looks like at night time and I've also got one showing you at daytime. It is winter at the moment so they will be a little bit darker than say in the summer but I think the qualities are quite good and I'll show you that right now. So, uh, yeah, so that's the video done. So, what do I think? And like I said, I thought it was really easy to navigate. Uh, the picture quality is good. Uh, the setup was a breeze, half an hour. And, yeah, really like it. Very pleased. I will be putting this straight back in my camera. Oh, one more thing before I forget. I put 128 gigabyte memory card in here. And it does say in the manual, you have to format it at FAT32 on your computer. I didn't format it on my computer, I plugged it into here, turned it on and I formatted it straight on here and uh, yeah I've had no issues. As you can see I've already done a video and you've seen it working. So yeah, so that's it. So uh, does it give my thumbs up? Yes it does. I'm very pleased with it. I think the quality's nice. It was easier to set up. It's a good size actually. You don't need to see the screen once you set it up. You can put it behind your uh, mirror like mine is and just forget about it, you plug it into your cigarette lighter it will turn itself off, or what it does on my car when I turn the ignition off, the cigarette lighter goes off anyway and this thing just shuts itself down so uh, yeah, you ain't got to worry about draining your battery if you don't unplug it, it just turns itself off and just forget about it so yeah, very pleased with it uh, I think it's good quality, nicely done easy to set up and uh, yeah, definitely gets my thumbs up so with that if you like this video, give me a thumbs up. If you didn't like it, give me a thumbs down and uh, please subscribe. Oh, and I'll stick a link in the video description in case you want to go and check one out. I'm going to go uh, put it back in the car now.